So I wanted to do a demonstration of my uh, retractable tether system, sort of like a grappling hook sort of idea. So here is, I can shoot at any time I want at anything. Notice I have this little bit of bounce, a little bit of give. I explain how you can do that in the settings. And it retracts! <laughs> Yay! So it just got way shorter, obviously, right? And you can make it longer too. <laughs> So notice there is like an absolute limit as to how far it'll go. Notice when I tug, it kind of pulls back a little bit. That's uh, one of the settings I explain when, when you try to go beyond the natural limit. Or sometimes there's, you can make a little bit of give, so um, it's a little more natural feeling that way. So you can, again, you can attach to anything <laughs> and uh, then go for a ride. Or make it longer. <laughs> So I can control the length of the tether using, in my case, the keys T and G. It's just the way I set it up. But I give you the code so you can set it up any way you want. And um, these little pink trees are helping me out. My goal is to attach to this big one because I'm going to use it uh, to leverage, get my way over to this platform over here. Okay, so I saw how that worked. Now I'm going to save. Actually, I like saving while jumping. Okay, so now we have a very clear, fun thing to do here. So notice how the tether is very low, um, and then I can retract it up a little bit. But I'm going to use my momentum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it feels very nice and flowy in... Uh, in for me as I'm doing it. Yay! So look, I'm making progress now. So this is the fully retracted. This is when the tether's retracted, right? Uh, it's not actually fully retracted. Fully retracted is, is yeah, more like this. So this is fully retracted, sort of high off the ground as we are. Now here's when you press G to, in my case, to fully extend it. This is how, this is how long it can be. A little hard to tell because the, the ball is black, but it can actually get pretty long, but then you can also retract it. <laughs> so so that's uh, that's my retractable tether. Now I'm going to show you the gameplay aspect, which is playing with momentum here. Trying to get some nice momentum going, but I think I'm going to have to make it longer so I can build up more swing. So I latched onto this. Now I need to see if I can swing up. Ah, oh, ah, oh, no! Oh, please, no! Ah, oh, well, I'm not redoing all that, so it's you get to witness my control F10 feature here. So let's just pretend that I we're back here, okay? Control F10. It's very handy. <laughs> so I'm going to save while I'm on top of this thing. So I'm going to finish from where I left off because I want... So wow, that was I barely caught that. We Oh, almost. This is actually requires a little bit of... Oh, oh, please. Oh, I caught it. We I did it! Did I? Oh, God, that's hard. <laughs> it's really hard to swing up. Oh, oh. I was on. What are you talking about, thing? I'm telling you. This, uh, but it's kind of entertaining because it actually does require a little bit of. Uh, it's a bit of a skill. You got to practice. <laughs> oh. Get me some vertical. I well, I had some vertical. Let me show you. Ah, I refuse to give up. Something about me. Should probably could imagine based on what I'm doing for a hobby, <laughs> programming all these things, is I don't like to give up. So let's see if we can do this. Ah, oh, so I lose a lot of my... Ah, oh, guy. <laughs> maybe I can just... Hey, maybe there's a plan B. Maybe I can just swing up a little. Here! Yeah. Ah. Oh. Swing up. Swing up. Ah. 
So, so you see this uh, tether has, uh, you have some options for how you choose to implement it and, and some interesting gameplay, uh, skill learning curve things that can occur. On the whole, I should have to say that short isn't working too well, so let's try long. So I, huh, so how am I gonna, if I build up momentum back and then go forward? Hmm, this is, uh, it's a little different than when fraps is not running. Alright, so, oh, hmm. You know what I think we need here? I think we need, in terms of realistic gameplay, I think we need another object. <laughs> so let's create a, let's duplicate this, let's create a, let's, what kind of shape shall we use here? Let's, I don't think this shape gets very much attention. Let's use this shape. That uh, texture just won't do though. Let's use, um, I don't know, that just looks pretty cool at the moment. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, I like that. Alright, so let's stick this up here. And, uh, put that there. So, control F10. So, I don't give up, but I'm also a fan of actually fun gameplay where... <laughs> so if I can... <sighs> so that, that felt gratifying to me. <laughs> I, I liked shimmying up and then so I'm trying to get on this this is whoa this is making me a little dizzy <laughs> so oh you gotta be kidding me you got okay I'm glad that thing is there <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding this uh this uh, is harder than it looks apparently maybe it looks hard I don't know it's definitely hard I will get that thing. Wow. So the, actually adding in this new... I got it! Alright. You're going to see victory this time. I'm going to take it slow. Alright. Let's shimmy up a little bit. No. No. More. Shimmy up. Okay. Alright. Ho oh, ho! Victory! Oh. Come on. <laughs> I made it, you saw. So let me show you what happens when you actually don't miss that little jump by a narrow breath. Narrow something. Narrow little amount. So you see a little arrow? This uh, arrow indicates this is, has some, can give me a vertical velocity cone. This is my little game engine device. Whee! So that's what happens if you make it, and I must confess, part of it is fraps running, makes things difficult, makes it harder to turn. Woo! <laughs> So, and while you're in the air, <laughs> so that is my grappling system. And we'll tether up. And we'll go mountain climbing. Here's what it looks like in first person. <laughs> you can just cruise around with your little tether. <laughs> so, um, there you have it, folks. Enjoy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>